I am Ravenclaw Rochelle from ForTheLoveOfHarry.com and I am about to unbox my Harry Potter coloring book. If you look carefully, you'll see actually it's already open. That's because I recorded my unboxing, but I didn't record it. So I'm having to do it again. So just pretend this is all together and hasn't been opened. So I ordered this some time ago when it was in pre-sale and it arrived and here it is. So I've already looked at it for my, for the video that I didn't record just a few minutes ago. So I can tell you this is really, really nice because I've already looked through it. First of all, the book is thick. I didn't expect it to be as thick as it is. Um, don't know if you can see, but it's about as thick as my pinky fingernail. So that's what, half an inch, give or take. And the, the cover, the cover is a lot nicer than I thought it would be from the pictures uh, that I saw when I ordered it. It's, it's shiny, the picture is shiny. And where you see gold, it actually is, looks like gold, not just taupey brown. And it's just really lovely. It's something that I think when you see it in person, you'll appreciate it much more than what you're seeing with me right now. And the pictures, they've got all kinds of pictures. Some some pages have images one per page and some like this have pictures that cover both pages so you've got both kinds and there are all different styles of pictures that you can color in so this one is a little more simple isn't the right word but it's not quite as ornate as some of the other pages and then you've got something like this with an owl delivering Harry's letter to Hogwarts, which I'm still waiting for, by the way. And it's just incredibly detailed. Um, adult coloring books are all the rage right now. And I can see where this would be really soothing to just sit down and start drawing, coloring on there. And it would take a while, and that's okay, because it's something that's done to relax. At least I think that's why most people do it. That's why I would do it. It's got pictures of all your favorite people. Here's Ron under the sorting hat with M Professor McGonagall, the Hogwarts, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the Hogwarts crest, which says Draco, I'm probably gonna butcher this, I don't speak Latin. Draco, Dormians, Nunquam, Titillandus, which means don't wait, don't tickle sleeping dragons. Uh, there's Ron and Harry after they stole the Ford Anglia, I think that's how you say it, in the second story. Now, oh, there's Dobby, he's one of my favorites. I wanna make a comment about the paper. It's really thick paper. If you're used to looking at children's coloring books and the quality of that paper, it's thin, it tears easily. If you were to color on it with anything other than a crayon, you're gonna see the color on the other side of the paper. That's not the case with this. It is, it's really thick stock of paper and don't use a Sharpie because that's not what I'm talking about. But if you were to use a pen, I have no doubt a gel pen, some kind of marker pen that is not a Sharpie. I'm sure that you would not see the, the coloring that you did on this page on this side. Now I'm in a quandary. I, I love this and I really want to color these pictures. But I don't think I can do that. This book is so nice. I don't think I can actually color in it. So 
I'm not sure if I should scan a picture that I want to draw and print it and color that or buy a second copy of this coloring book and save one that's unused and color in the other. Kind of a ridiculous thing to be pondering, but I really am wondering about that. I don't think I can bring myself to color in here if I don't have another copy of it that's clean and uncolored. I notice that in the in the back there are colored pictures and they correlate with some of the pictures in the book. Some are not exactly like them, they're just slightly different and some are exactly like them. I'm not sure if these were included to give us ideas on how to color the pictures or just because they're really nice to have and they are really nice to have in here. There's Luna's Spectra Specs. Um, okay, this picture. Can you see that? This down here? I read a review of a woman who was complaining about the pictures in here. And this is the coloring version of that one I just showed you. It's a bunch of trolls in ballerina outfits dancing around and she was complaining why the heck is there a picture of ballerina trolls in here but I'm guessing that she didn't read the books she only saw the movies because this would make no sense it sorry sorry about that I had a phone call from my dad so I had to take that anyways I was talking about this picture, about how the uh, woman who was complaining about this being in the coloring book because it made no sense had not read the books. I don't remember which book it was, but in one of the books we found out that there was a wizard, I don't know, 100, 200 years ago, who attempted to teach trolls how to dance ballet. And as you can guess, it didn't go well. So this picture comes straight from one of the books and it does belong in here because it's part of the series. So I really am looking forward to coloring. Probably not in this book. Probably on a piece of paper that I printed. And oh, the, uh, the woman who complained about the Dancing Trolls also commented that she was really disappointed with what's not in here, such as a picture of the Hogwarts Express, and I don't remember what else she complained about. And, well, first of all, my personal opinion is, I think this is great. I love this. I think it's, it's wonderful as it is, and I'm not going to complain about anything it doesn't have because I really like what it does have. But I also happen to know that at some time in early to mid 2016, there are going to be a couple more Harry Potter coloring books that are published. Two, maybe three, but I think two. And I don't know what they're going to have yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they contain much of what that woman wished was in here. So clearly the powers that be recognize that Harry Potter coloring books are going to be wildly popular, not just with kids, but with adults, probably more with the adults, such as myself, and will continue to put out more coloring books, which I hope they do. And I will buy each and every one of them and probably not color in them. So there you have it my unboxing of the Harry Potter coloring book. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that it was helpful to you if you are unsure about whether you want to buy it or not. And I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be adding more videos. So, bye!